What's up everybody? Okay, so today I want to give you guys five tips to help you fall into temptation. So if you are that somebody who is being, you know, feeling a little bit tempted recently like some of us, um, then this video is definitely for you. Remember guys, this tip number six towards the end of the video. So make sure that you stick around and watch that as well because if you do not, you will be heavily misinformed and that's not good. So let's get right into it. Okay, so tip number one, do not flee from temptation, okay? So remember that story in the Bible between Joseph and Potiphar's wife, where Potiphar's wife saw that this guy was like the most handsome man on planet, exhibit A. Um, <laughs> and she wanted to, you know, to taste the beauty, the handsomeness, to obviously sleep with him. But Joseph did what? Joseph ran away. So that's something that you should not do if you want to fall into temptation. The first thing that you need to do is to actually walk towards temptation, not flee from it. If you flee, you are a coward and you do not want the temptation that bad. Simple as that. So if you really want to fall into that temptation, you will not flee. You will face it head on. Truly listen to it as it convinces you to give in and I promise you by the time the sermon is done and you're actually experiencing the sermon, man you're gonna have the best time of your life. So that's tip number one. Do not flee from temptation. Okay so tip number two right. Do not pray. Do not pray in two circumstances right. Do not pray regularly and do not pray when the thought of that temptation comes. Here's why. When you do not pray regularly, you are effectively weakening the inner man. The inner man will try to convince you otherwise. If the inner man is weaker, it's easy for you to fall into temptation. But if he's strong, man, he's gonna pull up a fight. But we need him to be very weak. So when you don't pray regularly, you are setting up yourself for success you will win the battle against the inner man because he's strong this guy and when he's strong it's gonna be difficult for you to fall into temptation so just make sure that you stop praying on a regular basis and when you do pray pray maybe for like five minutes or even two minutes so that he doesn't get enough nutrition you know what i mean and the second circumstance that you shouldn't pray in is when the thought comes because when the thought comes of you wanting to do something or to fall into temptation and you pray you are putting up a fight and you shouldn't be doing that because you really want to fall into temptation right if you pray my friend the chances of you experiencing the joy of your life are close to this zero okay so number two do not pray okay so number three do not read the bible this is actually connected to the previous point, both regularly on a regular basis and at that moment when the temptation wants to manifest itself, right? So the less you actually read the Bible, the less you will know what the Bible says about you, about your situation, you will not be able to implement certain hacks and tricks and you know certain truths that will help you to fight against you know that temptation so if you really want this so bad you will not open that bible because the bible is full of that but you want we want to make you as weak as possible if you read the bible less you are making yourself more vulnerable to temptation to come it's actually the perfect way similar to the first point it's actually the perfect way to invite temptation so if you want that temptation to come to you and not you running after it because i mean you're a christian right you don't want to run after temptation you want to invite it and you want to fall into it so for you to perfectly execute that plan is to make sure that you are as vulnerable as possible and that means that you read the, the, the word of god as less as possible okay so number four do not resist Remember that scripture in James that, um, what does it say again? Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I'm not saying that the devil is a temptation, but I mean, if the shoe fits, well, why not, right? <laughs> 
So what I'm trying to say with this is this verse it's clearly trying to show you that the more you put up a fight, the more you resist the temptation is the more you will not fall into it. But this time around we want you to fall into it. So just make sure that when the temptation comes do not resist it because most of it is actually up here. Resisting is more up here. So the more you give in into the thought of that temptation is the more you are likely to fall into it, right? So when that temptation thought comes, do not push it away, do not resist it. Dwell on it, think about it, digest it. Visualize the temptation creatively. Think of ways you can, you know, fall into the temptation in new, different ways. How you can perform the temptation in, in a new, maybe not so nuanced, but like radically new. So just make sure that you keep thinking about this. And when you're ready, go and do what you've been visualizing all this time, okay? Okay, so the last tip, tip number five, make sure that you surround yourself with people or you go to places that will help you fall into temptation so for an example right let's say that you are a recovering alcoholic i'm not saying that alcohol is like a sin or anything like that maybe you were a drunkard and then you stop drinking and and you wanna have this temptation right you wanna you wanna excite the temptation and you want to fall into that temptation so what you need to do is you need to go to a club or a pub where they sell they sell alcohol and you need to hang around people who drink alcohol a lot because i promise you you will fall into temptation you will go back drinking so if you are that person who wants to fall back into temptation whatever temptation department you may be in make sure that you go to places that will you know elicit thoughts about the temptation and make you fall into it or hang around people that will motivate you to fall into temptation that's the best way the most effective way to help you fall into temptation so yeah guys those were the five amazing tips that you can use if you want to fall into temptation but remember there's a bonus tip, tip number six. And tip number six says, do tip number one until tip number six, only if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, only for you to go back and do the exact same sins that he has died for. So do whatever I've said, only if you believe that, okay? There's a scripture that I actually wanna read you guys. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 to 24 it says to put off your old self which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God and in true righteousness and holiness so what I actually get from this scripture is that God desires for us to lead a life that is like His, right? And I truly believe that the best way to live that kind of a life is if our minds are constantly renewed through this truth and through the Word of God. So if you want to live a life that Jesus Christ died for you to have, and if you want to not fall into temptation, do exactly the opposite of the five things I said, right? So what does that look like? That means that you have to flee temptations, right? Don't run towards it, run away from it, right? And that means that you have to pray constantly, pray regularly, and that means that you have to read the Word of God regularly. And that also means that you have to resist temptations, right? And the best way to resist temptations is if you pray continuously and you read the Word of God continuously because the, the temptation is right here in the mind, right? It's right here. So if you defeat this with the Word of God and by prayer, you are good. And the last point, you have to surround yourself with people that will encourage you living a righteous life. 
and not people that will encourage you to constantly fall into temptation. So if you have those people around you that are saying, you know, that are actually helping you to compromise, like, you know what, God will understand. Just ask for forgiveness. Stay away from people like that. Stay away from environments like that because I do believe that your surrounding can affect the kind of a person you are and the things that you do. So just make sure that all these five things are there regularly to help you fight temptations. So guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it has inspired you to keep praying, to keep reading the Word of God. I do these videos because I think I am actually doing them for me because I need them more than anybody. And the best way to do to actually help myself is to do these videos because the more I talk about them, it's the more they are reflecting back to me. So I hope they inspire you. I hope they change your habits and your thought process. Let's engage. What do you guys think? What other ways can you not fall into temptation? Let's have a conversation down there. So yeah, guys, remember, if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. I appreciate you guys and check you guys on the next video.